Last night we did a live stream expecting at least something from Akio Toyota at his press briefing at the Tokyo Auto Salon. It was a big nothing burger. Um, but afterwards, they did give us some updates, at least on a couple vehicles. All right. We had this cool Overtrail GX 550, and um, I should be driving the GX in just a couple of weeks from now out in Tucson. So stay tuned for that. Uh, they gave a special edition RZ. It kind of has a body kit with special brake, like blue brakes on a blue accents, but there's no more, more performance on it. It just looks extremely aggressive. So that was a bit disappointing. But the most exciting thing for me is the evolved GR Yaris. Now we don't get the GR Yaris in America, but any updates they make to the GR Yaris, there's a good chance that they could come to the GR Corolla in the future. So we're going to break it down and talk about these new updates. <laughs> If you're excited for anything uh, Gazoo Racing, Toyota's sports car division and racing uh, division, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And let's get into this. The big update here is a newly developed eight-speed direct automatic transmission. We've been hearing about this from Japanese scoop magazines for a while, and now we finally have the details on it. So let's sink our teeth into that first. The eight-speed Gazoo Racing direct automatic transmission was developed by honing it in motorsports and on various roads. This included TGR World Rally team drivers putting it through its paces on various road surfaces, such as snow-covered roads in Finland, and professional rally drivers exposing it to the challenge of competing in the Japanese Rally Championship. The transmission was also put to the test in the Toyota Gazoo Racing Rally Challenge, which even beginners can easily enjoy. With Toyota Motor Corporation Vice Chairman Shigeru Hayakawa as a driver and in the Super Taiku series with Marizo behind the wheel. Through these and other efforts in which not only professional but amateur drivers played roles in the repeated process of braking and fixing, TGR achieved transmission speed and reliability that can be enjoyed by a wide range of people. The automatic transmission control software used has been optimized for sporty driving. While conventional gear shifting relies on sensing vehicle behaviors such as deceleration, G4 speed, etc., the optimized software also delicately senses the way the driver steps on the brakes and operates the accelerator. And by doing so, it anticipates when gear shifting is necessary even before changes in vehicle behavior occur. Realizing gear selection that reflects the driver's intentions and thus leading to gear selection that is similar to how professional drivers shift gears. If you hear kids in the background, um, I have two kids at home today. They are screaming in the background. That's just going to be a part of the background music today. And there you go. Let's get, let's get into the next bullet point. The use of highly heat resistant friction material in the automatic transmissions, gear shift clutch and enhancements to the transmissions control software have resulted in world class gear shifting speeds. The use of close ratio gears made possible by increasing the number of gears by switching from a six speed manual to an eight speed automatic transmission achieves driving that makes the most of the engine's power band. The RZ high performance trim level is equipped with a Torsen LSD or limited slip differential that enhances driving force uh, control performance through accelerator operation. They've also updated some of the, I guess you could say ergonomics. Um, everything is more driver focused now. So, uh, but you have the screen tilted toward the driver as well as all the controls. So I like that quite a bit. And you <laughs> everything's within control arm length right that he doesn't have to get out of the seat is essentially what they're saying here which is convenient they've raised the gear shift lever 75 millimeters compared to the cvt equipped gr yaris rs driving posture has been improved by lowering the driving position by 25 millimeters and forward visibility has also been expanded moving the rearview mirror to the top of the windshield and lowering the upper edge of the center cluster by 50 millimeters excellent also the handbrake has been adopted for vehicles with the gazelle Zoo Racing Direct Automatic Transmission with a view toward vehicle control and rally and Jim Gymkhana driving. Gotta love the position of the handbrake. Also, the shifting has been reversed because that's how it's done in motorsports. Um, in motorcycles, it's called GP shifting. You, you uh, click the shifter down in motorcycles and it will upshift for you. And it's also true for the opposite, right? It sounds like this is kind of the same thing going on. Upshifting has been changed by pulling the shift lever and downshifting has been changed 
to pushing the shift lever in line with vehicle behavior, realizing operability similar to that of a race car sequential transmission. We also have a new professional race driver inspired 12.3 inch full color TFT gauge display with a focus on visibility and the vehicle information necessary for sporty driving. So in the eight speed models, um, you have automatic transmission oil temperature display. Uh, you have a visual warning, uh, which has also been added to the gear position display in the gauge. Now, also a big upgrade here is that the GRRs looks to be getting the same tune as what we already have on the GR Corolla. Uh, so that's good for the GR love, GRRs lovers out there. It's going from 272 PS to 304 PS and torque goes from 370 newton meters all the way up to 400 newton meters. And the exterior design is pretty cool here too. So they didn't overlook that. Up front, the lower grille features a steel mesh that is thin and lightweight while still being strong. And the sides of the lower part of the front bumper have a new separable structure. These facilitate restoration and replacement work in the event of damage caused by flying objects such as rocks during competition in motorsports and can lead to reduced repair costs. The side lower grills now feature a larger opening to ensure better cooling performance. Furthermore, the bumper sides have outlets to effectively exhaust heat from the sub radiator and automatic transmission fluid cooler. An opening at the lower edge of the rear lower garnish allows air from under the floor to escape, reducing aerodynamic drag and improving maneuverability and stability as well well as exhausting heat from the muffler. The upper and lower rear lamps have been consolidated to avoid damage and improve visibility while competing in motorsports. Also, the high mount stop lamp has been separated from the rear spoiler, increasing the spoiler's customizability. Additionally, the continuous tail lamps provide a sense of unity and express individuality that makes the new GR Yaris instantly recognizable. They've also improved the rigidity here. The number of bolts fastening the body to the shock absorber has been increased from one to three to suppress alignment changes during driving, uh, thereby increasing the responsiveness of vehicle behavior to steering operation, improving handling stability. And by increasing the number of spot welds by approximately 13% and expanding the areas where structural adhesive is applied by 24%, body rigidity has been increased to improve handling stability and ride comfort. The automatic transmission fluid cooler comes standard, of course, on those models with the auto. And with that comes a sub radiator, a cool air intake and an intercooler sprayer as newly available factory installed options in the form of a cooling package that takes competing in motorsports into consideration. Of course, we had different sport modes and I'm going to let you guys pause here if you want to read into how that affects the vehicle and the different systems in the vehicle. Okay, I'm not a big fan of this. This circuit mode unlocks the top speed, but it will only do so if you're in a area that Toyota says you can do it in. So you have this GPS location lock, you could say. Uh, so not a big fan of that. I wish that was just something you could unlock, like a disclaimer saying, hey, I'm willing to break the speed limit and Toyota is not responsible or whatever. Like give us a disclaimer or something. But to not be able to access it unless you're into a Toyota GPS location approved area is a bit BS in my opinion. But what does that circuit mode do exactly? Well, anti-lag provides controlled turbo lag reduction to improve acceleration response during re-acceleration. The speed limiter increases the speed limit so the vehicle will not be uh, restricted by the limiter at major circuits in Japan. The cooling fan will maximize fan output to promote the lowering of engine water temperature. Okay, here are some of the specs for the new GR Yaris, or should I say the enhanced, the updated GR Yaris. So go ahead and check that out. Um, you can see that it only adds about 40 kilograms or sorry, 40 pounds, only 20 kilograms for the automatic transmission. That's incredible. Uh, that's pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. All right. Um, what else do we have here? Also, it looks like you can get the, the engine tune and some of the, some of the other updates of the enhanced GR Yaris on the old GR Yaris model. So that's pretty cool as well. So just felt like updating you guys on this model. The GR Corolla is never going to get this sort of treatment, but maybe we can get a little sprinkling on an enhanced GR Corolla in the future. The problem is, is that the Corolla is due for a redesign pretty soon, probably in the next two years. So I don't think they would come out with an enhanced GR Corolla until the redesign happens and maybe not even at launch of the new redesign. It might be another 
year or two after that redesign. It's really hard to say, but the Geo Yaris is its own thing. It's a Yaris and naming only. It's half the Yaris platform, which is the, the B platform, and it's half Corolla platform, which is the C platform. So they're able to customize this thing um, for the motorsports markets that it competes in. And that's really the main focus of it, where the GR Corolla is kind of like a watered down, bigger version of this. So uh, it'll be fun to see what Toyota ends up doing with the GR Corolla. Hopefully they keep it around as long as possible uh, with some of these nice updates that we're getting from the GR Yaris, but I'm not gonna hold my breath, especially with the redesign around the corner for the Corolla. But thank you guys for watching. If you like more of this coverage, make sure you subscribe. Lots of stuff coming down the hatch. Like I said, I'm driving the new Lexus GX here in just a couple of weeks from now. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one and peace.